Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a fraught and complex topic, the Khalistan movement in Canada. This movement has been a source of controversy and discussion in recent years, so let's unpack it and explore some key points. First off, to understand the Khalistan movement, we have to go back in time. The term, Khalistan, refers to a separate Sikh homeland, an independent Sikh state, which was envisioned by some Sikh activists in the 20th century. It emerged as a response to the perceived political marginalization and discrimination faced by Sikhs in India. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, Punjab, a state in northern India with a majority Sikh population, experienced a rise in Sikh militancy, demanding the establishment of an independent Sikh nation of Khalistan. This period saw a wave of violence and political unrest, culminating in the infamous Operation Blue Star in 1984, when the Indian Army stormed the Golden Temple in Amritsar, the holiest Sikh shrine, to root out militants. The fallout from Operation Blue Star was severe, and it deeply impacted Sikh communities both in India and abroad, including in Canada. Canada has one of the largest Sikh populations outside of India, with a significant number of Sikhs settling there in the aftermath of the 1984 anti-Sikh riots that followed the assassination of then-Indian Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. Since then, Canada has become a hub for Sikh activism, including voices calling for Khalistan. Now, it's important to note that not all Sikhs support the Khalistan movement. In fact, the Sikh community in Canada, like any other community, is diverse and has varying opinions on the issue. There are Sikhs who support a separate Sikh homeland, and there are those who advocate for greater rights and representation within India. It's crucial to recognize this diversity within the community and not generalize the entire Sikh population. With that being said, supporters of Khalistan in Canada have managed to make their voices heard through various means. They engage in political activism, hold rallies, and raise awareness about their cause. One of the key ways they advocate for Khalistan is through social media platforms, where they actively share their perspectives and engage with followers from around the world. However, the Khalistan movement in Canada has generated controversy and criticism as well. Some see it as advocating for separatism and violence, while others argue that it is an expression of the Sikh community's struggle for its identity and rights. The Canadian government has been wary of the movement, concerned about potential threats to national security and the impact on bilateral relations with India. Another aspect to consider is how the Khalistan movement intersects with the issue of Sikh extremism. While not all those who support Khalistan are extremists, there have been instances where violent acts have been committed by individuals associated with the movement. This has led to heightened scrutiny and monitoring by law enforcement agencies. It's important to note that the Khalistan movement in Canada is not a monolithic entity. There are different organizations and individuals with varying approaches and goals. Some focus on peaceful activism and lobbying for the Khalistan cause, while others have been involved in more controversial and militant activities. In recent years, the Canadian government has taken steps to address concerns related to the Khalistan movement. It has emphasized the importance of dialogue, religious freedom, and peaceful engagement, while also denouncing any form of violence or extremism associated with the movement. Overall, the issue of the Khalistan movement in Canada is a complex and multifaceted one, with passionate arguments on both sides. The Sikh community in Canada, like any other community, has a right to express its views and advocate for its concerns. However, it is crucial to remember the importance of peaceful dialogue, understanding diverse perspectives, and respecting the principles of law and order. And that wraps up our exploration of the Khalistan movement in Canada. It's a topic that continues to spark discussion and debate, and we hope this video has provided you with some insight into this complex issue. As always, we encourage you to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.